An accidental discovery may be moving us one step closer to a cure for our plastic binging problem. Uh, U.S. and British researchers have inadvertently developed an enzyme that just so happens to be really good at breaking down PET. Now that is a type of plastic used since the 1940s to manufacture millions upon millions of plastic bottles. Scientists are hoping that they can find a way to use the enzyme on an industrial scale to break down plastics back into their original building blocks so that they can be sustainably recycled. Now, who better to talk to um, than uh, Professor John McGeehan from the University of Portsmouth. Uh, he is co-lead author on a paper about the findings. It was recently published in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. He joins us now. Professor, thank you for joining us here. What incredible discovery, this enzyme that can digest plastic and just to clarify here, this is PET plastic. This is plastic we use every day in plastic bottles and packaging. Yes, that's right. It's the same a PET that makes your plastic bottles, your fizzy drinks bottles, but also lots of clothing and carpets and, and films of packaging for food. Um, it's everyday use. It really is one of our biggest uh, plastics. So finding a way to break it down is super important. Yeah, and, and how long does it take to break it down for this enzyme to eat the plastic? Well, so this is following on from a, a discovery um, two years ago in science. A, a Japanese group um, managed to find a bacteria in a plastic recycling dump that was actually living off a diet of PET. So what we've done is take the enzyme out of that bacteria, and this is what we're studying. Um, so it actually... If, if you think about plastic in the environment, this is kind of horrific because we made this man-made polymer that just doesn't break down. These bottles could last hundreds of years in the environment. The bacteria can break this down in a matter of days or weeks. But what we're hoping to do with the enzyme is just in the same way you use an enzyme in a biological washing detergent, um, breaking mm -hmm. down grass stains. These enzymes, we hope, can break down PET, ideally in a matter of hours. That's our goal. Yeah, and so that's your next goal, is that real-world application to harness the power of the enzyme to break down PET. Um, do you have a time frame on when you'd be able to introduce it to, for example, recycling centers to do just that? So uh, at the moment, it's on a small scale, but I think if we look yeah. to other technologies out there, for example, uh, I mentioned washing powder detergents uh, enzymes, but also things like biofuel enzymes. They were originally from uh, bacteria and fungi, and they were designed to be much faster, 10, 100 times faster than the originals within a period of about five to 10 years. So now that that technology already exists out there, I am very hopeful that we can really push it within that time frame. Yeah, you know, there's so much promise with this technology, but with any promising technology, there's also potential peril. Is there any danger that this enzyme could break down more than just plastic, that it could wreak havoc once unleashed? No, this is, uh, so what you need to remember is that these bacteria that the Japanese people found are already out there in, in the environment and uh, they, they operate incredibly slowly, so they're not going to cause any problems soon. Uh, what we're doing is basically taking the enzyme out of there, uh, purifying it, so we've got a non-living enzyme, and we're using that just in a, a very controlled way in a recycling site. So uh, this would be a very safe technology. In fact, a lot safer than some chemical technologies that currently exist. Incredible finding. I wish you, your team, your colleagues the best of luck as you introduce that real world application of this enzyme. Thank you very much, Professor. Take care.